Hi guys, Wacker here. Let us run this map and I'll show you what I'm doing. It's really quick, simple little script for you to mess around with. Works, zombie map, multiplayer map, whatever you want to do. I have gone over light states before. I've gone over the fact that you could have multiple light states called by different power switches or whatever you want. Uh, but let's just mix it up a bit we'll do it in a multiplayer map and let's pretend that we're having a round and we're going to start off at night time go to a different night time go to some funky stuff and then go to a winter scene uh you can do whatever you want uh, but just wait for this load team deathmatch we so we'll go in like this. so uh one skybox and that is set in the ssi and you might have seen it flick to another skybox. CDP, be advised. Black Ops are in the so AO. The shadows pointing over here. This is my skybox. Um, it's really what, if you want to do this properly, you'd have the same source of skybox each time and then just adjust the lighting. Ah, then we've gone to this skybox. Woohoo! You notice the shadow's not there, the light's coming from a completely different angle. It's actually straight down. So there's no shadow on here, just to prove that your lighting would work and reflections and shadows would work correctly. And this is probably going to change again. Can't remember how many put in. Hey, there we go. See, look, the shadow's going this way this time. And we're on a winter one. Uh, nothing mind-numbly brilliant about it, I guess. But the way I would think about it, let's say you're playing a 10-minute round of um, multiplayer. And you want every 2 minutes 50, or uh, 2 minutes 30 seconds rather, uh, to change the um, light to sort of from dark to sunset light to midday back to sort of a dark and so on. Whatever. Uh, if we open up the scripts folder, it's pretty easy really. I've made this really simple. All I've done is said, call after 30 seconds, set the light state to this, after t 20 more seconds, set the light state to this, and so on. So you would set it to um, the time that you want. So you've got to think how long an average round is. Uh, you could put this into a looped function, whatever you want to do. Um, if we go to the editor, we haven't done a lot in here, but we'll sh show you anyway. Uh, just while we're waiting for it to load, you can look at that. I know the excitement is mind-numbing. I am going to do loads more uh, tutorials on lighting. This is just really quick and easy. So all we have done... Find my... Sun volume. Let's get rid of that so we can... So I've just chosen different SSIs all the way through. Obviously you could have your own custom ones, or you could just use a single one that you've duplicated so many times, but with slightly different light settings. So you could edit the SSI in Ape, just for that one for example, you can have it Nest 1, Nest 2, Nest 3, Nest 4, and so on. And you'll get a light transition as you go through your map, based on whatever time you choose to set. And that time is obviously set here. That's just really easy for people who don't want to code in lots of weird and wonderful functions. Knock yourselves out. That's it. See you all later. Bye.